Hi guys and welcome back. Now that we've got a global table created, let's go ahead and take a look at how to use the basic put item API call in DynamoDB to write objects into our table. Now, if you recall from our table configuration, we have a hash key over on this people table that is set to person ID. So we're gonna have to make sure that each person that we insert into our table has a unique person ID field as a string value. And then we can also define other attributes on our items as well. Like we might have a first name and a last name and a birth date and things like that. So let's go ahead and construct some items and we'll go ahead and write them into this table and then just double check that they are properly replicated over to our secondary region in US West 1. So for starters here, let's take a look at the put item API call. So we'll head over to our Bodo3 documentation We'll drill down under client here and then take a look at our methods in the DynamoDB client object. And sure enough, we have put item right here. And then we also have some other API calls that allow us to do things like batch write item as well. So if you're looking to write a whole bunch of items, you could actually use batch write item instead. But for the time being, we're just going to use the basic put item API call right here. And let's take a look at the syntax for how to properly invoke this particular call. So down here under our request syntax documentation, we'll take a look at the input parameters for this API call. So we've got things like table name that allow us to specify which DynamoDB table we want to write into. At the moment, I've only got two tables over here in my AWS account. I've got people and satellites. Obviously, we're going to be writing to the people table right here. So we're going to plug that in for our table name. And then for the item here, we actually have to come up with a little bit of an incantation to where we have our string, which is going to be our key. And then we have the, the data type that we're going to write to that particular key. So that's going to be the string number bytes. We also have string set as well, or number set, or byte set as well. So there's going to be several different types that we can assign in here. So let's go ahead and start out by just specifying a basic item. And then we'll go ahead and plug in the table name. And then you can also see there's some other options here as well that allow us to do things like uh, validation. So we can say what is the expected value and have DynamoDB automatically validate the input data for us and things like that. So let's go ahead and start out by just specifying the basics, which are the table name as well as the item structure that we want to write into the table. So what we need to do is just construct our item for starters, and that's going to have our key as well as our data type as the and, the and the value right here. And that's actually going to be part of an object up here. So let's go ahead and just create a new script here. We'll call this 04 create dynamo db item.py. And we'll go ahead and copy our boilerplate code from right over here in our global table script. Paste that in, and we'll just double check that we are writing to the correct region here. Sure enough, we've got that there. And then I'll go ahead and create a variable here just called table, and this will be the table name so that we don't have to type that directly into the input parameters. And then let's go ahead and grab our DDB client object here as well and paste that in. So now we can do ddb.put underscore item, and then our table name is going to be table right here. And now we need to construct the item. So let's plug in item equals item, lowercase item. And for item, let's go ahead and specify a dict here and take a look at the structure over here. So for item, we're going to have a dict, and then we're going to have a key followed by a child object, followed by the selected data type that we want to use. So we're going to use a string for things like the person ID, as well as the first name and last name and, th and uh, birth date and things like that. And then, of course, we have the string value right over here. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. So for our, for our item, we're going to have the person ID. Let's go ahead and assign this to a string with a value of 1. And then let's go ahead and add another key to our person object. Let's call it first name. And we'll set that to a string as well. And the value of that will be Trevor. And then for, let's do a last name property here. And we'll do a colon and another child object with our data type string. And we'll say Sullivan right here. And then let's actually do just a numeric value as well. So we'll do age. 
and then we'll say number, capital N, and then let's go ahead and do 30 for that. Great. So let's go ahead and run this script now and see what we get back. So we'll hit F5 and invoke our debugger on that Python file. And as you can see, we're getting a validation error. It's basically telling us that the valid types are string here. So let's go ahead and fix that really quickly. As you can see over here in the documentation, even a number still needs to be passed in as a string. So basically it's complaining because I plugged in a Python integer value instead. So let's go ahead and just surround our age value in single parents, single quotes as well. And we'll hit F5 and do run our debugger again. And we should get a successful insertion. Sure enough, looks good there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the DynamoDB table over here in the AWS Management Console. And if we refresh, you can now see that we have a single object in here, single item, and it's a person with an ID, an age, a first name, as well as a last name. So now let's check that that was successfully replicated over to the, Nor the Northern California region here. So we'll switch over to US West 1, and then we'll take a look at our people table here. We'll take a look at items. It looks like maybe that didn't copy over correctly, so let's go ahead and just delete this item and restart from scratch here. Let's head over to the Global Tables tab here, and then we'll just choose Add Local Region here. And as you can see, we'll just go ahead and add our Oregon region to our Global Table configuration here. And let's close that, and let's go ahead and write an item back into here, and double check that that works correctly. So let's hit F5 over here in our script to create a DynamoDB item. And let's refresh our view here. Sure enough, here is our object. And then let's switch over to the Northern California region and just confirm that and go over to items. And as you can see, the global tables feature has automatically replicated our item that we put over in the Oregon region over into the Northern California region. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.